I don't think that I will ever have the marketing capabilities and the self-branding capabilities that I had in middle school. Let's talk about it. Okay, so let's set the scene. It's 2013. Posting on Instagram was like to show status or like where you are and what you were doing. It wasn't aesthetic at all. Like if we went somewhere or did anything, we had to post it. Because if you were going to the basketball game, you wanted everyone to know that you were at the basketball game so that they would go to the basketball game. I'm just showing you this because literally what is this, bro? That's so embarrassing. So thug life with my A6 sweatshirt. Okay, so these two bitches were my best friends, okay? Every time we hung out, we like had to get pictures. We had to show everybody how much we loved each other, how close we were. You can see it's the Victoria's Secret pink app editing. If you know, you know. But we were in middle school and they both were like dating at the time. I had no sexuality. I had literally no interest in boys whatsoever. I wasn't even allowed to date. But um, they were like, Meredith, like you need a boyfriend. Like, you don't want to date? Like, what's going on? So then this guy <laughs> and this guy got a crush on me and it was a huge scandal. It was like, oh my God, like Meredith, you have to choose. Like, you have to pick one. Like, this is so messed up. Like, you're leading them on. You need to pick one. This is when things get juicy. So me being the economical woman that I am, their other friend gets a crush on me and i was like well he's the most popular and like i guess if i have to choose one like okay fine <laughs> so this was like the night <laughs> this is so middle school bro i love it this was the night that i chose i was like this it's gonna be him and then the, everyone was like we got it you gotta get a picture of it you gotta get a picture so we were like <laughs> so i posted it so everyone knew who the chosen one was and it was him <laughs> This is what I like to call my breakout role. I think it's what really put me on the map. Um, so this is one of our, every time he would have a football game, I'd go and we'd get our picture. And I'd be like, this is my boyfriend. He plays football. <laughs> this one, I literally remember my friend was like, Meredith, sit. Like, I literally wouldn't talk to him because I was scared of boys. Like, I didn't know how to communicate with boys. So I would not speak to him. But my friend was like, Meredith, Meredith, like, go sit next to him and I'll take your picture. This is like, I literally don't think we talked to each other that night other than to take this picture. But look how, like, in love. Like, I'm believing it. I believe that. Like, this was such a successful PR campaign. Like, everyone really thought there was, like, there's, like, chemistry there, honestly. But I remember I was so pissed this whole day. Because we also went with my two best friends and they were, like, laughing and having the best time. And I was, like, so depressed I had to hang out with my boyfriend. And every time I'd run up to them, I'd be like, guys, like, what are you doing? They'd be like, Meredith go back to your boyfriend anyway um i ended up not going to school for two weeks straight because i was mentally ill and disturbed um and i just like didn't text him for three days and then he texted me one day and he was like so are we broken up and i was like yeah i think this has run its course 